Recently, the FDA approved another uh, device that fits in the MIGS category, MIGS, M-I-G-S, Minimally Invasive Glaucoma Surgery, or some, some people call it micro-invasive glaucoma surgery. The eye stent was the first device within this category. Now, just recently, the FDA approved another device called the CYPASS, C-Y-P-A-S-S. The CYPASS creates a, a new pathway for fluid to leave the eye. Remember, the, the fluid dynamics in the eye are very um, active. Uh, aqueous, or the, the clear watery fluid inside the eye is produced at a rate of 1% per minute. So every 100 minutes, the fluid within the eye turns over. We have to have a very good drainage system or the fluid pressure builds up and it causes increased eye pressure and it damages the nerve that goes between the eye and the brain. So we now have another device that creates a new pathway within the eye, totally within the eye, and that's a, a distinction between some of the older, more traditional surgeries divert fluid through the wall of the eye, which adds some, some risk because if we have an opening that passes aqueous or this clear fluid through the, the white wall of the eye, the sclera, potentially bacteria can get in through that same port. And, and so that adds a risk of infection that, that really is life, lifelong. So if we can divert fluid and keep it within the eye, like eye stent does, and now like CYPASS does, that's a, a big advance. The, the potential downside of these new MIGS procedures is that they don't lower eye pressure as dramatically, but they add tremendous safety, something that we've really lacked in our more traditional surgery. So for combination with cataract surgery, we have eye stent that we've been doing for several years now. Eye stent creates a little stenting pathway into the eye's natural drain. It's probably the most physiological of the devices that we place. Then the next one would be CYPASS. That creates a, a relatively new path for fluid to leave the eye, but it's a very safe path, and it keeps all the, the diverted fluid within the confines of the eye itself, so the risk of infection is greatly reduced or, or maybe even eliminated. Um, and so th those two devices, the eye stent and the CYPASS, have been terrific advances in our ability to manage glaucoma.